Um, so, howdy. I'm Michael Huff. I'm an astrophysics major, and then I am a sophomore. Um, so, Model United Nations is sort of a simulation of uh, committees and the kind of happenings of the actual United Nations, kind of translated down to an educational environment for students in particular. You basically are assigned a country and you get to play a delegate from that country just as the ambassadors in the United Nations play their part. Uh, you play your part in large conferences and such. Republic of the Congo, Egypt, Djibouti, EU, Germany, Canada, Uzbekistan, Mongolia. We were also Nigeria and Indonesia. Cyprus Workers Party um, from, well, Cyprus. Georgia and Liberia, I believe. We were the United States and we won best overall delegation there. Uh, which was, you know, a pleasant surprise. Oh, Saudi Arabia, that one was fun. <laughs> uh, Democratic People's Republic of Korea or North Korea, and we won a bunch of awards and also best overall delegation again. So uh, we have fun at our parts. Model United Nations is a simulation of the real United Nations. What it allows our students to do, as well as high school students to do, uh, is to simulate what's going on in terms of trying to pass legislation and solve the world's problems. So, small topic in the scheme of things. Women's rights. The Cuban Missile Crisis. And industrial cooperation. The situation in Afghanistan. Basically, 1963. Just that entire time frame. Mines, even. I wish I was on that committee. That sounds fun. And that's where you write all of the resolutions. Resolutions are like the most concrete output of the UN. It's essentially goals for the future for the different countries within the UN. All the countries get together and sort of write it out within a document and then you have signatories which are supporters of it and you have to get a certain number of signatories to bring it to the floor to be discussed by the entirety of the body and then the entirety of the body votes yes, no or abstain on it. And if you have the most yeses then it passes and that's one of the goals of the UN. You're basically think Congress. You're Congress, but a bit more effective. You don't even have to be a criminal justice or a poli sci major. I mean, we have neuroscience. Japanese and Asian studies. Biology major. History majors. It's important, I think, to have a mix of majors because you get some very different views uh, because we're all trained a little bit differently in our disciplinary specialties. It's relevant to everyone because it's talking about like world issues or issues that you get to talk, to, talk about in like a daily basis and it like widens your horizons to different people's like ways of thinking and talking to other people and getting your ideas across like it's definitely incredibly helpful and just the environment is insanely positive like no matter what you do people are willing to help you people encourage you so I encourage the club a lot. <laughs> if you know how Congress works it kind of helps you realize how politics works and how your government functions and that's just good for being a citizen. You get to go on trips. Chicago every year for Amon and then I've been to Bucharest, Romania. We went to Bogota, Colombia. And we will be going to Scotland come March. You, get, you know, you get to go all over the world. On a, like both, you know, with your research and your countries and physically uh, if you join this club. So yeah. If you have any passion for debate or politics or kind of just seeing the world in general and you want to work with a really great group of people who all care, Model UN is the club to join. MUN is basically a family. Like, it's not what it's meant to be, but it just turns out that way. Everybody's super open to talking to people. It makes you feel like you're very involved in campus and you just like naturally feel like you're doing something that makes you feel more successful because you actually get to get out there and speak and talk about your ideas. And I just like hanging out with these people. They're some of my closest friends, regardless of any politics between us. It's a really safe zone for like the first years that don't know much about conferences or parliamentary procedures or Robert's rules even. You get to learn about the world around you, about topics you maybe have never heard of um, before. And it kind of really opens your worldview, um, makes you a more knowledgeable person overall. Um, and again, it teaches you all these amazing skills like public speaking and researching and stuff like that. So it's not just for political science majors. It's, it's a whole hodgepodge of things. And it really, it really makes you a better person, I think. First and foremost, you learn how to talk. Basically, it's forced me to get out there and give speeches and to have to actually talk to people and work with other people which I found has actually been super helpful in classes, especially like giving presentations. 
does help you to uh, think outside the box and think in views that might not be your own. And I think that has been invaluable because now I've, it kind of propelled me into my leadership positions. The only limit, if you will, is uh, you must have an interest uh, in these types of international issues and uh, discussing these issues with others. And it will help you in every aspect of your life, either with friends or with writing or with public speaking, which is always an issue for almost everyone. And it will just broaden your horizons. And the people you meet there are the best people. They're interested in world politics and they're the people that will be changing the world. Come join the Carthage College Model UN team. We're really good. Join Mun. Join Mun. Join Mun.